Right guys, top five pipe reels for UK fishing. These would be my pick. Uh, the pen spin fisher, live liner. Um, nice reel. Um, I do have a slightly bigger version of this and um, they're lovely made and um, they're quite expensive but worth worth the dime. Um, pen of good quality. Just be mindful. Don't drop it in any way. See the um, um, the real seat here. Um, that's that's quite fragile. That can actually shear off if you drop it. Um, so yeah, that accidentally happened to um, to me. So it's not good. But um, so anyway, so that is a really good reel, and um, it's like a typical bait runner um, where you adjust it on the on the rear drag for your nice and light bait runner, and at the front of the um, the reel. Um, you, that, yeah, that's where you will have your your main dr drag set for the actual line during playing the fish. But yeah, not nice reels. Um, that would be a definite thumbs up for me. Now, Shimano Bait Runner. Um, you know, all of these reels you can use them for carp. Um, whatever size you get. I mean, you probably want like a three or four thousand for pike. I would say something which can hold maybe sort of twelve pound line maximum. Depending on what sort of rods you've got, if you've got to get a lot of distance, you might need a 15, 18 pounds. You probably want the slightly, maybe the five or six thousand. But yeah, these um, they're not too expensive, these Shimano bait runners. And if you look after them, they should last you for ages. Um, you know, they're Shimano. Um, so this is a really good value one. And um, and this is this is like um, you know, the latest one they do, the STRB. And um, yeah. It's the um, same principles. The rear drag sets the um, the fish when he when he picks up the bait and runs with it, and you just you flick it down, and that engages on what you've set the, the front drag up as. And um, yeah, I would definitely for you know for I'd be brutally honest for saving pennies, that would be a real winner um, if you didn't want to spend too much money on one, and you get a really really good deal there. And um, yes, I have actually owned one previously. And um, this is another um, Ray, another option if you're into sort of multipliers for dead bait and things like that. This is a superb casting reel. It's quite expensive. You can use it for boat fishing, surf casting off the beach, but it doubles as a as a pipe reel as well. And um, you set your star drag up, and um, you just um, I think it might even have a ratchet on at this one. Um, so you can play around with that, so you can set it really lightly, so you can hear the click, click, click as it sort of um, takes line. But that's um, got really good casting potential as well. And where you just you adjust the dial on the on the on the side there, um, depending on what the wind's doing and stuff, so you can get more distance and, and play around with it and things like that. Might you want might want to practice a few casts with it, so you get familiar with it, but. And maybe what keep your thumb on the spool a little bit, just so we don't get any overrun. But that that would be my go-to multiplier. It's just something a little bit different. If you're um, maybe good on a boat as well, if you're um, bike fishing on a boat. This is another reel. Um, it's caught my eye. I now you get very good build quality with something like that. This will last you a lifetime. Looks lovely. Um, very solid. It's the tournament whisker reel. They do two sizes, um, doubles as a barbel rod, a carp rod as well, um, reel as well, and um, yeah, it just like just solid as, and um, you know, um, you just get this certain level of quality with Daywa. I mean, as long as you don't drop it or sit on it or you know fall over with it and break it and stuff like that. And they're not invincible, but you've got to look after them. But this will last you a lifetime. Apparently, it's got a really nice sort of um, drag on it when a fish has taken line. It's got a nice click, click, click to it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's um, it's not that expensive for, the, for you know, for, for good quality. I, I personally think that's worth paying the extra to get a better reel. Um, you can play around with the cheaper reels and stuff. It's just not the same. And if you're going to be going fishing year after year after year, you might as well just just go for it. And you know the, these guys, day well, I mean, they were doing these sort of reels years ago, but not quite as good a quality as this. But for the time, they were still doing that sort of good quality, so to speak, spinning reels and things like that. So I definitely recommend them as well. Now this reel here, um, I think I've got the three thousand of this, and I um, I use it for pike. 
Um, I would probably say 4,000 might be a bit better if you want to you know, fish a bit heavier lines and stuff like that. But I think I've got a 12 pound line on my 3,000, and that's it's not too big. Um, it's quite a heavy reel, disadvantage. So if you want to use it for a bit of spinning, you could do. But it's just it's just a really solid reel, and it's really well made. And I think at the time, last year or two years ago, I paid about 90 quid for it or something like that. But um, the things have gone up a little bit since then. And, um, yeah, it says you've got six ball bearings, look, and it's, um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's just a very good reel for the money. Very robust. Um, and, yeah, so it's a pen battle three. And um, seriously worth looking at. There's a lot of reels on the market. And if you're not sure, this video is just designed just to give you a little taster of what some, some good reels which are out there, which I, I would thoroughly recommend going that extra yard, paying a little bit more and getting a, a better reel. That's last you a lot longer and um, nice, nicer to use as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And um, maybe Santa will um, we'll get you one of these. See you later.